Okay, so there are uh, several ways you can do the refold shuffle. In this case, for example, I give it a let's play in the, the one I actually like to do the most. And I believe this is the one it looks a little bit more flourish than any other one, any other refold shuffle. And this one it looks quite a smooth, but it doesn't really feel it. I mean, you don't really feel the way, the smoothness. You have to do and apply a lot of pressure. Well, a little bit. More than the, the way it looks. So notice I have the forefinger in the side. All right. And the index right, uh, right above, making the pressure. Otherwise, all the cards are gonna get out. Then I use the third finger in my other hand in this other side and that's it i mean um, in this hand i try to lift it up with a middle and thumb okay i try to bend it up and the index right here let it go and they will interlace forefinger and index uh, if your hands are too small, you can use the forefinger over here too. It's just that I don't want too many fingers in front. I want the audience to give it a look. Um, have a better perception of this shuffle. So that's why I do the third finger over here. And um, this two finger out, um, above. So just bend it up with this hand. And my left hand is probably doing the most. I'm just using my other hand to push it against the forefinger over here, like that, okay? And don't move the, this hand, leave it there. The only hand I'm moving is this hand, towards the pinky. Open all the fingers and they, they will start uh, shuffling. I believe this is the, the more visual, but this one give it a better perspective, I don't know, but it looks much better. Maybe because it's not really a shuffle you see a lot of times from different uh, or a lot of magicians. And well, the next I started up with a face up cards, the grip. Well, you know, let me explain the, the, this one, which is pretty much the same without using the table and the, the grip. I have the forefinger and the, the, for, the index and the forefinger in the side, second and third at the bottom, just like that. With a thumb, rifle, half. You can transfer. Now notice the second and third finger are the ones holding the, the halves. Okay, just like that. Maybe a little bit uncomfortable. You have to struggle a little bit. The index go right above and start shuffling. You have to just hold it with a, with a second and third finger by bending it. Index is pushing down and doing some pressure. Okay. And I know it is a little bit uncomfortable, but uh, the forefinger, notice you can do more pressure with the index in the forefinger, more than the second and the third. And you can stretch the index instead of just bending it on top. Okay, so the next is almost the same, face up cards. This time, uh, I'm holding it with a thumb, just like so, okay, with a thumb in the hand. But all you need then is the middle finger outside and the index at the bottom. Make sure you square it. Okay, index pushing up, thumb holding down.
and I'm just shuffling from the uh, one of the corners. And that's it. Um, I started face up because I'm gonna flip it over. So I'm gonna end up like this. Okay. And give it a shuffle. Uh, remember, the index is at the bottom. Doing pressure up. And the middle finger is in the, this side. Doing pressure down. So it's gonna uh, shuffle one by one. And that's it. Uh, you wanna do it on the table. Uh, sometimes it's better just using the thumbs. Okay. Instead of using the thumb in this short uh, side of the cards, I'd rather have the thumb in the long side of the of the cards right here. I believe it looks less exaggerated than than the other way and you don't want to damage the cards too much you can just let it fall we don't even bend in the cards now this is another alternative and uh, just just like that uh, this is one of the most soft ways uh, without damaging the cards at all instead of this way which is more uh, annoying more lousy this other way um, just let them go and they're still interlacing but uh, to be honest this is the one i prefer the most this is the one i actually like it i think it looks more uh, a little bit more flourish than any other refold shuffle and hopefully you you like it okay so i will explain it once again from the back i shuffle it four finger goes right here and index on top notice middle finger and thumb um, right in the side so it's gonna lift everything the third finger in my other hand it's gonna push against this hand that's it there we go even if you don't feel it it's gonna look uh, quite smooth <laughs> 